Hi, my name is Mark and this is my review of the Cinematic Matbox. Before I pulled the trigger on that Matbox two years ago, I did a lot of search and there's unfortunately very little information and videos on that model. What I'm trying to do today is to cover up pretty much every aspect of that product and give you an in-depth review of it. So let's start. One of the things that sold me was that the construction is all aluminium except for the filter trays. Every part, including the flags, is made of aluminium. The bracket for the flags are made of aluminium and are attached onto another metal bracket, which cover all around and on the front of the mat box. That bracket also have a groove space to put some 16x9 insert in it. Unfortunately, there's no one included in the package. All of the knobs, brackets and attachment are all made of CNC machine aluminum. The Cinematics logo is engraved in both the matte box and on the flags as well. It gives the product a nice touch and looks more professional. The swing away bracket is designed in a U shape, so there's two points of support, one on each side, making the system a lot more solid. This makes a huge difference and makes the matte box doesn't feel cheap at all. The swing away bracket is aluminium machine and attached on the mat box with two X screws on the right pivot points. When the mat box is closed, it's fully supported by the bracket on the left. Just pull the knob and it opens up to 180 degrees. When you close it back, the lock in mechanism clips by itself on the bracket. Changing the lens can be done in less than 10 seconds. By opening the matte box up to only 90 degrees, you have plenty of room to operate. The swing away bracket has the ability to add a 80mm riser, as pictured. Simply navigate on eBay seller Roking 2008 and type adjustable in the search box. It will appear in the result below. As the picture shows, it's an adjustable riser that can accommodate the mat box to rise up to 80mm in 8. All you have to do is remove the locking part on the swing away bracket, then screw the adjustable riser and use that riser to slide the mat box on the rails. Otherwise, with just a swing away bracket, which is rock solid, we can even use the mat box to move the whole rig. There are two stage filters, one can rotate while the other remains static. Simply unscrew the lock on the left and pull out the tray. The tray is made out of durable ABS plastic. It has a Cinematics logo engraved in it and it's also very sturdy and doesn't feel cheap at all. The tray clips when inserted in the stage. There's a groove on the side of the tray in which the knob locks it. The engraved tray is very well made, looks professional and is very solid. The locking device for the filter is made out of aluminium with a spring-loaded mechanism. The filter clips in it firmly so there's no fear of using glass filters. One of the stage rotate while the other remain fixed. If you rotate up to a certain point, the tray will remain in that position while remaining easy to rotate. The side flag simply slides under the screw, which holds the flag when tightened. To adjust the flag, simply unscrew the knob, adjust the flag, and then tighten it back. The side flags are adjustable in height, so depending on the top flag's position, you can adjust the sides to match the angle. The interior of the flags is made with a non-reflective material, cutting any extra light reflecting on them. The neoprene donuts that come with it are great, they can accommodate a variety of lens sizes. One thing that I don't like with these is that they can cause light leaks if they're not properly placed around the lens. 
Otherwise, they are kept in place with the adapter ring that simply clips on the mat box. Personally, I've done a little modification to this system, which is the Velcro and the Universal Adjustable Donut. Maybe this is something Cinematic could offer. Even if it has to be purchased separately, this would offer both solutions to customers. Once it's installed, no matter the lens or the size, it can accommodate pretty much everything. No need to change the neoprene rings every time you change the lens. All you need to do is to close the matte box and then pull the universal donut all around the lens, like that. There's also no vignetting with that matte box. I've tested it with my crop sensor Canon T2i and the 18-55mm at 18mm, which translate roughly to 29mm on a full frame. Another good thing is that we can use adjustable lenses, like that 18-55mm, which breathe when you're zooming in and out. That method is a lot more effective for cutting the light that hits the back of the filter before it reflects in the lens. In conclusion, the cinematic matte box is a very good one, and it's built like a tank. I highly recommend it as it's one of the best matte box I've seen and it compares easily with other more expensive ones in that price range.